Good morning. Hi friends. Welcome back to my channel. What do I look like? Actually, I'm having a good skin, decent skin day. And I'm just wearing a t-shirt because all these beauty gurus are all dressed up when they start a get ready with me and it's like, I don't know. Do you guys get dressed before you do your makeup? Because I, I do my makeup first. Then I get dressed based on how I'm feeling after the makeup stuff. There's currently a power outage in my town, so I have a little extra time to get ready for work. It's not at my house, obviously, but at my work, there's a power outage, so I got a little extra time. So I thought I'd, if I had to get ready anyways, I might as well do a tutorial. Does so anyone know what these are? <laughs> is this like an under the skin pimple, or is this a sunspot, is this an aging thing? Let me know. I, I don't know what they are. And I don't know what to use to treat them because I don't know what they are. So today I'm just going to be kind of doing like a very a universal makeup look. This could work for a graduation, a wedding, the grocery store, Netflixing on your couch. You do you. But it will work for all of them. I've gone ahead and moisturized using a Lancome moisturizer and Vaseline on these lips. So without further ado, let's get started. So I guess our first step would be primer. Today, um, I'm going to be trying some new products. So today is the Stellar, come on man, the Stellar, the Stellar, brilliant primer. There are people that think primers don't do anything for your skin. I'm still inconclusive. I don't see too crazy of a difference when I switch my primers out and I don't stick to one. I use a lot of different ones. Yeah, remember I get boxes so I have quite an assortment of primer. Speaking of, like would people be interested in like a primer review of my primer collection? Because I got a ton and um, I don't know. I feel like those get clicked on. Or like it, they're good to watch like in the background if you're just like farting around. Farting around. Off the gate though, this primer actually feels really good on my skin. Oh yeah. Different primers do different things. So maybe if a primer isn't working for you, and that's why you're on the bandwagon of not thinking you need primers, you're just using the wrong one. I can't say for sure, but could be a thing. Yeah, I really like this. I got it in a box. So for foundation today, I'm gonna be using the good old Old Glory, the Too Faced Born This Way, undetectable. Foundation in the shade Natural Bay. Does this match my skin completely right now? No, but there's no conclusion to that. Just but, but that's it. I won't lie. I bought this because James Charles uses it, and I guess my uh, take from all of that whole thing would be that um, just because someone else likes a foundation doesn't mean it is a foundation that is going to work for your skin. So if you're foundationing in the high-end world um then you know foundations are very expensive so i definitely suggest um getting the testers and if you go ask for them at sephora or ulta or wherever and they tell you they don't have them the lion the lion um maybe not don't don't get on my asshole i'm not who knows who knows if they're lying i'm not them but anyways Test them first. Find out. Um, this one does work pretty well for my skin. It's like I have a new face. It's like a mask. Um, honestly, this isn't the fullest coverage I go. If I want really full coverage, I use the L'Oreal Total Cover or the Milani Conceal and Perfect. That's a good one, too, um, for full coverage. And if I want to go lighter coverage, ooh, there's so many on the market right now. I don't need to go on about that. I do just like the way this foundation lays onto the skin. And yeah, I mean, it was like 40 something dollars for the bottle, but it's lasted me a good while, so. It's just ferociously blend it into the neck. Because as I said on this channel before, I'm going to try and be a beauty guru, okay? I just like to play with makeup, and um, I can come up with some kind of cool looks, or, you know. This is how I learned how to do makeup, so I guess I'm just saying, like, Maybe you can learn here. 
if you want to. It's free. Moving our way over to Conciela. Um, today I'm going to be using the Marc Jacobs Stand Corrected Concealer. And uh, don't ask me the shade because uh, I don't know. Anyways, the applicator on this got me a little effed up at the beginning, but it's good product. It's just, I, I'm not a fan of this, like, dirty pigsty of a concealer, but it does look beautiful on the skin. Uh, Marc Jacobs is a brand I respect, respect, respect. Anything I've tried from them, I enjoy. And here, in case you're like a cheapo like me, but you enjoy the finer makeup in life, um, Marc Jacobs is sometimes at TJ Maxx. That's actually where I got this bad boy. $10. $10. You're not going to find me uh, filling a cart at Sephora with Marc Jacobs products just because I'm not... I'm not the type to drop money like that on stuff like this. Well, very rarely. So, uh, yeah, check the bargain sections. There's nothing wrong with it. Usually it's just the, like, I'm sure for this one it's because people didn't like the applicator. It didn't do so well on the shelves, so they sold it elsewhere. I'm going to put away my makeup as I go, because sometimes after I do this, this is just, there's a lot going on in here. Anyways, um, so usually it's just, like, makeup that didn't do as well as I expected, so they have extra on the shelf or like um shades that maybe didn't sell as much because you see a lot of like kind of fun funky shades there um but or maybe it's got like the box got injured in the transportation product process to sephora or wherever it was intended to go like, I know I got a Kat Von D shade and light palette. <laughs> I don't remember the exact price I paid for it, but it was like, I want to say under $20. And there's like literally nothing wrong with it except for the box was like caved in, which like, okay. Call me the center for uh, broken boxes because I'll take them all day. I'll give you a home right here in my beauty room. Welcome. 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 So I kind of go through like these different makeup styles. There's periods of time where I like to use different makeup. I like get hooked to it for a little while. And lately I've been really enjoying using a lot of cream products. I think it just like, it looks more natural. And when, you, when you're when you really going for like a full beat, if you put the powder on top of what you've already created with the cream, things are just, they're working out for you. They're gelling together. That being said, we're going to go in with the La Ritzy Bronzing Stick. I made that up. Color and Contour Cheek Stick. And Brazilian Bronze. Um, I used to be so afraid of bronzing with um, like cream contours, but honestly, gets the job done real good. It looks natural. And... It's like very quick, like this. See, like very net. It's looking good. We got a good base going. Okay, so sticking with the theme of creams, um, I did get this. I don't have a liquid blush. I need to get like a stick or something. Yeah. Anyways, I got this in my glossy box once. It's the Bang. I don't want to give. Yes, Bang Beauty. Um, cream color. You know, you can use it for like lips and cheeks and whatever else. So I just take take a bit on my finger there, and I just go flush it a little over. And sometimes I do go back in later, because remember, if you do a little bit of um, powder on top of some of these colors, it's gonna accentuate it even more. So you don't have to go hard. This is not the paint. It's a terrible joke. Sorry, sorry, everyone. Oh, five of you, I'm sorry. So we got a base looking as good as this. We don't want to lose it. So I'm going to go in with the Aesthetica translucent powder. I, I know, Laura Mercier translucent powder. That's that's the one. She's She's got it. Yeah, baby, she's got it. But um, shit's expensive. And I got this from Amazon for like $25. And I've had it for like probably a year. I don't know what the shelf life is on this. But anyways... I think it works just as well. 
So I'm just going to dump some out in here. I got my beauty blender. And I'm just going to cover. And literally what this is doing is just, um, I'm just clogging your pores. Like, you're filling your entire face. You know, your oil areas or whatever. Which I have very normal skin. I don't suffer from, like, oily skin or acne or super dry skin. But I also treat my skin. I treat it. I spend, my skin gets treated, dined, dined and wined or wined and dined, whatever. Um, but yeah, so we're just, we want to fill our whole face in. Fill it right in. Mm-hmm. Can you breathe face? No? Okay, we're good. So while my bake sits, I like to bronze. Um, I'm a bronzer fanatic, so I use a lot of them, but today... We're going to go in with the Morphe bronzer in Debutante 6 box um, for this baby, which is, you know, pretty good. Pretty good price. And I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. brush, which was like $3. So if you like a bargain, then um, there you go. So get you far. $9. Get you Anyway, so I'm just going to put that everywhere that I put the cream bronzer. Get things looking all snatched right up here. I got a bunch of good shape coming to my face, a little alien like little Area 51 action. Um, anyone else not know what Area 51 was until like yesterday? Because mm, me, I um, was all over Facebook and stuff, so I asked my fiance and my housemate, and uh, yeah, he said I lived under a rock. And like, quite frankly, I like it that way. We'll make sure I get up here on my forehead because, like, imagine me with a smaller forehead, unstoppable. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe away that bank while we got this big fluffy brush out. If there's a little bit of bronzer left in there, who'd care? No rules of makeup. We're looking pretty flawless. I'm feeling For blush, we'll keep it on the affordable side too. The Milani Powder Blush in Coral Coo. She beautiful. And she doesn't break. She's not breakable. She's beautiful and she's not breakable. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead. Oh, okay. Just a little color. We're gonna pop a little color in there it's summer. So we can look a little beachy. I see these people um on the internet do this for like a sunburnt nose, which like I don't know who wants their nose sunburnt, but the internet told me to do it. So mm -hmm, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Saw someone do this once too. Okay. That's enough. Next, I think I'm gonna do my brows, but um, that's private business. Not really, but everyone's brows are different and everyone likes different products. I'm not gonna sit here and try to tell you. It's, I don't really have a process. Just go, I just wing it. Um, I'll tell you what I'm using though. Fair. I'm gonna use this. Um, Billion Dollar Brows Eye Pencil and this Anastasia Brow Gel. Skincare tip one. Hydration. Okay, so now we will work on the eyes. Uh, let me zoom you in, which means scoot my tripod forward. I did get a lens, I just haven't uh, put it on here yet. So we're doing some manual labor, and I think that's uh, close enough. Let's do this. So to start, I'm just going to take that Marc Jacobs concealer and use this as a base for the uh, makeup I will be putting on today. This is like a nerve thing. I like, once I get on film and get going, I always talk in like a, I don't even know what accent that is. French? Is it French? I don't know, let me know down below if you know what accent this is. And I apologize if it's yours and I'm making you look like a freaking lunatic. It's not my intention. So I guess we'll try to stick with the cream um, theme of things. Even though, like, cream eyeshadows are scaly. I don't work with them often. And if you're going to be wearing this to, like, a graduation or prom or something, um, but I don't want to use products that you're not great with but because I'm just going to work um a very short shift I don't care if it looks bad obviously I hope it looks good because I'm filming it but I want it to look bad so I'm going to go in with this 
nude sticks, a eye color, and copper foil. And I'm, I'm not going to just, I'm going to use a brush because I think that gives you a little more control with what you're working I'm, like, with. like, going to pick out a brush and, like, oh, shit, like, all my brushes are dirty. Sunday. Clean them on Sunday. It's always Sunday. I'll clean them on Sunday before the week. I'll go, and then, you know, seven Sundays have passed and your brushes are holding the dirt of a thousand faces and... I mean, it's just my own. I'm not spreading this around to everyone else. It's just my own face I'm affecting. So I think you could really, like, pack this on. But I'm just going to kind of use this as, like, a base. Very, like, subtle. Shimmer. And bring it kind of up into the crease a bit. Because I'm pretty sure the look that I want to do is just uh, a lot of different shades of cool and warm browns. Um, so, yeah. We'll just do that for now. I, I may do that. So, if you've watched my channel before, which, um, welcome, if you haven't, um, that sounds so self-deprecating, but I'm just making light of the fact that, like, YouTube's freaking hard, especially when you don't want to, like, promote yourself on your own socials, um, yeah, okay, anyways, this is sidetracked, that'll be in another time, um, whenever I'm working with browns, I love this palette, I got it in BoxyCharm, she is loved okay she's been loved she's been through the ringer we go everywhere together um and i think i'm just gonna work with these three shades boop 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 right here a light a medium and a dark i'm gonna start here with that medium shade and i'm just gonna pick that up on like a a dense yet fluffy brush is this is a morphe who the hell knows um not a get for not a get rue i'm not a get rue um, and I think I'm just going to start packing that in right here on the outer third of the eye, just packing that color down. Um, I've been using this technique lately where you're going to pack it first and then blend it. So I'm trying to blend as you set and I'm just going to blend that up, kind of concentrating on keeping a like upward motion to make the eyes look a witty beaker. And it's okay if it's messy, we still have a lot of work to do here, so just... Keep on blending up, blending up. We're moving on up to the top. See how it's already kind of lifted? I'm not going to film both eyes. I don't want to see that. And I don't want to do that. So be right back. Okay, so now that we've got that color messily set in place, and it's like everyone's got this. And if, if you say you don't, you're, you're lying. And we're not lying on this channel. But, um,. Yeah, one eye that always wants to work. It's here to play. And the other eye is like, I'm not feeling like going outside today. Okay? Some days, I just want to get a, like, a patch. Because, like, ooh, you go, girl. Ooh, you stay home, girl. Like, either way, we're going to fix it. We're going to make her work. You wake up today. You coming out to play? I'm going to take this big, fluffy no-name brush that my dog literally chewed. But, like, I love it. I love it. Sanitation on this channel? It's not a thing we worry about. And I'm going to go into that lighter shade splurge right there and just get a little bit on that big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to start blending the edges. And just circular and windshield wiper motions. Always swooping up. I'm never pulling down on a color. Unless you want to look sleepy and tired. But bitch, I'm woke. Okay, so yep, we're just doing that to kind of diffuse out any harsh lines and add a little more depth so we've got the dark color here and then the lighter um and then the second color we're bringing right into the second half we still oh don't touch there don't you do it oh, there's that. okay so pro tip um the pro is not me but i i learned this from watching someone else um when you feel like you're just like blending is not a thing so when you're having a little issue with your blending go back to your bronzer Go back on the same fluffy brush and fix those edges. Because remember, we put the bronzer right up in through here. So it's really going to help tie your look together and also help you out. And we'll bring that all the way, that last third area of untouched territory. Oh, we're touching it today. And we're bringing it way up, way up, up to the sky. Hello. Okay. So as you can see, like some of the, uh, like blended little too much together so i'm gonna go in with that first brush that i used in that middle color again stunner right there just stunner and i'm just gonna replace 
a little bit of color back into that outer third, keeping it low, low, low. Show it again, low, low, low. Right onto the eyelid. I'm not going crazy with it. I'm not going, I'm just like very light. I'm holding my brush way down here. That gives you more, a lot less. Um, obviously, if you hold your brush up here, you're pressing a lot harder. This gives you like just that light, like. Anyone ever seen the movie Stepmom? Such a tearjerker, but that reminded me when she's like teaching her how to paint and they're doing like the. So I lied. I am going to put a little extra into this. I'm going to go in with this twinkle. This, um, you know, the pan right here. The color that's sitting on top of it. It's like a very nice gold shade. It's a muggy day out. I don't have good lighting. And I'm just going to use my finger and press that right onto the eye. Right into the crease just on that first half of the eye. Um, I don't want it to look like packed on. But I just want that like shimmer. This neck direction is very important. I want you to find your brightest highlighter. Because this really opens the eyes up. For me, it's the Ofra highlighter in Rodale Drive. You know where you love her. You've seen her before. And just a, like whatever you do call this thing. Um, this one's by IBY Beauty. It's a crease brush. Look at that crease brush. And we're going right. You know it. We're going to that inner corner. And we're packing that right on there. We're going to highlight it right up through into that inner crease. All over here, we're highlighting right over there like you're painting on one of those masks that superheroes wear. Don't be afraid to shine. Shine bright, shine far, don't be shy. Um, be a star. Eve, life size. Almost forgot. I'm going to take that same color and pop it right here on my brow bone. Which will, again, help draw the line between your makeup and where it ends. So to smoke out that base a little bit more, I'm going to go in with that dark color, which we have not used that, the snazzy, and a little bit of that stunner middle color there. And I'm putting it on just a very dense flat brush. Um, this is actually the one that came with the original Naked Palette, which was my first high-end palette. It's got a soft spot right here in my cortisone. And just keeping it real low. Almost like where an eyeliner would go. With a clean brush, it's just the Luxie Precision Crease Brush from their, like, Earth Friendly. You hear it? It's like wood. Um, collection. What goes up must come down, so we're gonna work underneath here. Same three shades. Um, I like to just kind of boop all together and just connect that right underneath. For my waterline, I really contemplated going in with the white. But I think I'm going to test out this. I've used it before. ColourPop um, gel liner in like this golden shade. I am going to extend that inner corner highlight just down a little bit. Because like I said before, anything bright around the edges is going to make your eyes just look a little bigger. Which I don't really need. I have pretty doughy eyes. But so <laughs> now we'll go in mascara. I don't do lashes. It's not something I do. I have decent sized ones that good lord blessed me with, so um, I've been loving this. I have to talk about it. I've been wanting to talk about it. This is the Pure Big Look Mascara. I got it in Boxy Lux, I think. I think so. Um, I'm obsessed. I love it. I I'm looking at my mascara collection. I have like literally 25. This is, I've reached for it every single day since I got it. I don't care if I'm going to the gas station or I'm going to let my dog go pee. This is on my, it's on me, it's there. Um, like one fell swoop. Hello? Hello? Hello, Taylor? Ooh, we zoomed back out. Um, so I did go ahead and do my bottom lashes and my lips. I used a Tarte Rainforest of the Sea lipstick in Salty Life and I love the I love this shit. It feels so creamy. I'm gonna buy the full size. 
And then I use this White Beauty in maple on the center. I kind of blended it all together for a little bit of a like ombre sort of situation. Highlighter. Mm. It's kind of like it taking a back seat. A while back, I think it was like a whoosh. We love highlighter. It's so cool. It's new. It's fun. It's exciting. And now it's like you, you don't hear about it all the while, you know? Um, I'm going to play with it today, though. A tribute to highlighter by me, Casey. Um, we're going to get a little creative, a little funky, because I like different things. I like different things. I'm different. Yep, yeah, I'm different. Um... I like to take this me 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 beat the blues it's like looks just like shitty ass makeup but it's actually kind of pretty i like to start by putting that on the high points of my cheeks and i just like to boop this doesn't have too much of a glow but i swear it does a little something and i also kind of use it to clean up the edges of my you know right here my eyeshadow which is um probably gross but i don't care um and then i'm going to take sorry the tarte pro glow highlighter i just put a little bit on my finger in that same place ding ding round two and i also am going to work this above my eyebrows there there and there and this i just blend out right with my finger and i think like i don't know takes away the matte of your face a little bit and I think like matte is like a thing right now people are loving matte which I, I love I, um but it's nice to look a little dewy sometimes and then I'm just gonna take that same O for O day of dry just with my finger nowhere besides here because I get dry here I don't need more powder than I already have I'm just gonna pat that for you to see that nice little glow Right there. Setting spray, people are also like controversial. It's controversial. Does it work? Does it do anything? To the, yeah, I mean, it sets your makeup. It sets your makeup. Not only does it set your makeup, it feels refreshing and kind of just psh, gels everything together going on in your face. All those powders, like work, work. This is like an activation spray. It's an activation button for your skin, for your face, for your makeup, for your day. I'm a server, so I, I need to set my face because I'm running around talking tacos all day and, and this okay today i'm going to be using the jerlique rose water balancing mask this shit is expensive i got it in a box though so just spray on if you enjoyed this at any point in time or you think this makeup look turned out decent give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you want to also, if you guys want to see anything, leave it in the comments. I'm open to suggestions. Um, I've got a lot of ideas. I just, you know, growing a YouTube channel is hard. It's really just for fun. If it doesn't grow, it doesn't grow. I'll look back on these. I'm a collector of moments and memories. And this is just uh, something I enjoy doing in my spare time. Or not spare time. I probably could be doing other things. But you know what I mean. We all can probably be better at time management. Um... Yeah, hopefully I see you next time. Bye, guys.